What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. I've never had to cover a situation where someone died, but I like to think that if for some reason I had to, I'd dial myself back a bit, because by all means, it's a tragedy. Even if I don't like the person in question, they're still human and deserve sympathy at the end of the day. But I mean, in this case, we're talking about a truly horrible person, so honestly, as far as I'm concerned, it's business as usual. I'll I'll still have my clickbait thumbnail, my clickbait title, and my witty commentary to boot. Hypnotist Sappho, or I guess the real name's Valerie, is a horrible, just terrible person. I am a zoophile. <laughs> I mean, where do you really start with this individual? Well, I guess that they're a VR chat hypnotherapist turned self-confessed zoophile tried to groom minors into becoming zoophiles themselves and a self-confessed pedophile. Oh, I'm sorry, minor attracted person. All right, sure, there's a lot to this person. And frankly, if I tried to give you the whole shebang, we'd be here for a while. There are like mini documentaries on this person. Usually they're like half an hour long. I'm sure they go into a lot of detail, but honestly, you don't have to look too far into this person to understand that they're an absolute waste of space. But that's enough beating around the bush. Hypnotist Sappho, also known as Valerie, has apparently, supposedly, killed themselves because their partner, supposedly, left one final message on their Twitter account. Hello to everyone reading this. This is Valerie's partner, I'm sorry to say, but this Saturday morning she killed herself. No info will be held in the public for safety issues for her family and loved ones. I'm sorry to anyone that was close to her. Please do not contact this account. Now, do I believe this tweet's real? Not for a second. Yeah, I know I'm sorry to disappoint. It's probably just not real. I mean, if you really think about it, literally anyone could pull this stunt. All you have to do is open Twitter and say, this is so-and-so's brother, sister, second cousin, you know, so-and-so killed themselves. It really is that simple. I mean, hell, I could go on Twitter right now, type up something like, this is Slick's brother. He's dead. I'd disappear from the internet and you lot would be none the wiser. Of course, this person has a long history of lying. One such lie, including faking someone's death for sympathy, so, so something like this wouldn't exactly be a first. It looks to me that this person is just trying to escape their past on the internet, which makes sense, because if there's anyone that I wouldn't want to be, it would probably be Valerie. Apparently, they deleted a lot of their online presence at one point. Their YouTube channel, TikTok, VR chat, trying to separate themselves from the Sappho persona. So maybe something similar is happening here. Probably just figured that if they told everyone they were dead, everyone would stop cyber-stalking them. Of course, hypnotists Sappho's still gonna have to live every second of their life wondering if, or maybe even when, their past will catch up to them. And on the off chance that they actually are dead, it's like, well, alright. I mean, again, this is a horrible person we're talking about. I'm not gonna throw a party or nothing, but then again, I'm not exactly gonna throw myself on their coffin neither. Frankly, I don't even know if this is actually Valerie's Twitter account, because I looked through it, and it looks like it was created very recently, which is kind of suspicious. Honestly, I, I question whether or not the Twitter account is even Valerie at all. In any case, it remains to be seen if Valerie here is truly dead, or if the Twitter account is just a ruse created by some online troll. Maybe they'll turn up on the internet again under a new persona or something. Maybe they'll be smart enough to stay off the internet altogether. All there really is to go off of is a tweet. Frankly, there's not a lot of blood to squeeze from this turnip. I say this at the risk of sounding mean, but honestly, good riddance and good night. You guys do old Jackie favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.